Motor and rider combination devices are designed for their simplicity and ease of use. Today, we're gonna to put that to the test. I have a Netgear AX2700 modem router combo device. I'm gonna see how quickly I can get it up and running and get a working internet connection. One important note up front here is that although I have a Netgear AX2700 device, if you have a different make and model of your modem router combo, the steps here will be pretty much the same. It doesn't really matter what you have in terms of a device, it's the steps that matter, so let's dive right into those. The first thing we do here when we take the modem router combination device out of the box, of course, we wanna take it out of the plastic here, see what else we have in the box. We also have a power cord and then an ethernet cable, which I don't think we'll even be using this. So let's just worry about the power cable for now and let's see how quickly we can get this set up. Now, before we start connecting things to our modem router combination device, you just wanna make sure you have a working internet plan in place, whether your internet provider is Xfinity, Comcast, Spectrum. You just wanna make sure that you have an active plan in place, you're paying on a monthly basis. Otherwise, doing all this setup won't mean anything because you won't be receiving an internet connection from your internet provider. Once you've confirmed you have an internet plan in place, we can start getting this thing set up. The first thing we wanna do on the back of the device, you have a coaxial cable port. This is how, because this is a cable internet device, your device will receive the internet from your internet service provider. It'll come wired from outside your house to a jack in your wall that looks something like this with a coaxial cable connection. And what we wanna do, we wanna make sure that we have a coaxial cable connecting that jack to the back of your modem router combo device. So the first thing we'll do, it's a really long cable because I'm far away from the coaxial cable jack that's in my wall, but we're gonna connect this to the back of this modem router combination device. Goes right on here and then you just screw it on here. You wanna make sure this is a tight connection to ensure that you have a strong internet signal. Once that coaxial cable is on there nice and tight, the only other thing we have to connect is the power cable. So we're gonna take this, take the end of it here. On the back and the bottom, you'll see you have a little port for that. We're gonna connect it to the modem router combination device. We're gonna take this end, we're gonna plug it into the wall, and then we're gonna see what it looks like. Once you connect that power cable, you'll see on the device itself, these lights will start to flicker and flash as it boots up. It's a little bit reflective there, so it's hard to see, but the bottom line is you wanna give it some time for these lights to reach steady state so they're no longer flashing and they look like they're not changing. All right, it took about five minutes, but at this point, all the lights on my device are stable. If you can see those, there's one in particular, there's a little globe here. This refers to the internet connection of the device. Once that is stable for about a minute, we're ready to move to the next step. That next step involves us registering this device with our internet service provider. We won't get a working internet connection until we do that because the internet service provider needs to link our internet plan with this device. In order to do that, we need to find the MAC address or medium access control address for this modem. The MAC address is basically just an identifier for the device. It's unique to this device. And this is what allows the internet provider to say, okay, this device at this MAC address, this is the one that's tied to my internet plan and my internet account. In order to find the MAC address, on the bottom of the device, you'll see some stickers, and there will be a 12-digit MAC address code on the bottom on one of these stickers. It will be clearly labeled MAC, so let's go and grab that information now. So here's the location of the MAC address for my modem router combo. It's a 12-digit alphanumeric number, so it's pretty easy to identify, but you wanna make sure that you write that down before moving to the next step. In order to register this device and its MAC address with your internet plan, you'll need to get in contact with your internet provider. At this point, most of them have mobile applications you can use to register your devices. I have Xfinity, so those are the steps I'll be showing you here, but depending upon your internet provider, you'll probably have a different app that you use to register your device. Okay, here we are on my iPhone. The first thing I need to do, go into the Xfinity app, log in with your username and password for your account. And then as you can see here, it says I currently don't have an internet connection. 
Yeah, no kidding, that's because I haven't registered my modem router device yet. In order to do that, what I have to do, you can click down here, begin activation, and it will walk you through the steps you need to follow. Here we just follow the steps, it says your own modem. I purchased this modem router combo, so I'll select my own modem. We're gonna get started. And here it is, scan your modem's label. You can do that or you can manually type in the MAC address. I prefer to identify manually instead and that's by typing in the MAC address. So I'll go ahead and I'll do that now. You enter that and you click next and here are the next steps. Don't forget to unplug your own modem router. I've already done that. We'll go continue. If your modem isn't installed, first locate your cable outlet. We've done that. If possible, place equipment where it provides better Wi-Fi. That's a topic for another video. We'll just hit continue now. Connect the coaxial cable. We did that in step one. Plug in the power cord. We've done that as well. Check to make sure your modem's online. We've done that as well. Check connection. All right, that's all set. Now it says your modem's restarting before you can use your Wi-Fi. We're good to go. We're all done with our phone here. And now we can wait until this device restarts and then we'll go to the next step. Okay, our lights have reached steady state. Our device has restarted. Now what we need to do, we need to access the settings for this device. I'll show you how to do this on my laptop. The first thing we need to do here, we need to connect to one of the Wi-Fi networks of the modem router combo device. It says right here on the side, Netgear 82 is the name of the default Wi-Fi network for this device. Again, for you, you can find this information probably on the bottom of the device, on a sticker on the side, or in the user manual, it will tell you what that is. But here, let's go down. Available networks, Netgear 82, let's connect to the 5G, why not? And we need to enter the password. That default information is on the bottom of the device as well, so you wanna take that with you and enter that here. Once that's entered, you'll get the connected secure notification. And now what we need to do, we need to open up an internet browser. From here, we need to access the settings for our modem router combination device. For me, it's very simple, it's routerlogin.net. Again, this is information you'll find either on the bottom of the device or in the user manual. So let's go to this site now. You may get a notification saying this is an insecure connection. This is nothing to worry about because you're literally taking your laptop or whatever device you're using and you're connecting locally to this device. You're not going over the internet, so there's not really any concern from a security standpoint. We'll click continue to site. From here, I get a notification that I can configure my device with an app. I have too many apps. I'm just gonna show you the steps on my laptop and we'll go from there. So we'll click, if you don't have a compatible smartphone, click here. Terms and conditions, we'll accept those. This page is really important from a security standpoint. You wanna make sure that you have a unique password to access the settings of your device. So go ahead, pick something that's complex here, something that's not easy to guess because it will just make your device even that more secure. Let's go in, let's pick a password. Then you have a couple security questions. Let's get those filled out and select next. You might see a page for another insecure connection. Go ahead and click through that. And here you go. You're successfully connected to the internet. Here's the name of our wireless networks. And also here's the password. You can take a look at it. This is the default one. I'll be changing this so it's okay if you see it. And then we'll select next again. At this point, if you wanna access your device's settings and change the Wi-Fi network names and passwords, all you have to do is you have to put in the username and then the password that you just selected. Okay, here's the homepage for your device's settings. At this point, you can make configurations if you'd like. I've previously made videos about how to change the Wi-Fi network name and password for your device, how to set up a guest network, and how to secure your modem router combo device. So I invite you go and check those videos out if you wanna take these next steps. But at this point, your device is up and running. You have internet access, you have Wi-Fi, you have everything we set out to do in this video. Overall, it took me about 35 minutes to set up this modem router combo device. I didn't do any of the configuration or fine tuning for security settings or Wi-Fi networks, but this is a good indication for how long it will take you because you spend a lot of time waiting for it to reboot waiting for it to connect to the internet and then registering it to your internet provider. I'd love to see in the comments how long it took you. It's not a race, but I'm just curious. And as always, thanks for checking out this episode from Network From Home and we'll catch you on the next one.